and then she was telling me that she wants to lose her virginity to her boyfriend who was 18 at the time <laughs> and I'm just like girl huh people haven't even get puberty yet you, you want to lose your virginity <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Kim. Hi, I'm Dana. Hello, I'm Chow. Hi, I'm Leah, and this is Zula Chick Chats. Okay, guys, welcome to this episode of Zula Chick Chats, and today we'll be talking about girls' school and girls' school culture. So, what school were you from? I was from SCGS. I was from CHIJ in primary school, and then I went to RGS in secondary wow. school. Oh, I'm from CHIJ Kato Convent. Nice. The, only the one, one that everyone doesn't yeah. like is. Yeah, yeah, we're the most hated school. <gasps> God, God la. Really? Yeah, everyone I... hates us. What? Alongside SJC, I think. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my shit, that's me. So, my secondary school is St. Joseph's Convent. Okay, so, <laughs> we'll move on to talking about the girls' school experience. Maybe, Chow, you want to start, right? Since you came from a girls' yeah. school, how mm. would you feel like the when you went? Yeah. Right? The first thing I noticed is that girls' school girls had very little awareness of how guys are like. They were more curious about interacting with boys. So every time it came to CCA exchanges, then you can see the girls get visibly them nervous. They're like, <laughs> any boy, no matter you're cute or ugly, right? It's like everyone's oh a cute boy la. Oh my god, I'm cringing. <laughs> Because like a lot of the 10 year girls school girls in primary school they don't learn how to interact with boys like. they don't even know how non-relative boys are really like law. unless you go to church in my secondary school there were these girls who went to church just to socialize with boys a it's, lot so of it's so yes, true yes, yes, yes. I mean, I think you must see what any interaction with boys you can <laughs> yeah, have right yeah, yeah. every time we would walk past like a boys school mm. we'd be very self aware yeah. that mm. boys might be looking at us Mm. And then we also a bit awkward, like we don't know how to get in front of them, like oh my god, that yeah. kind of thing. Because my primary school friends that I still uh. can be in contact with who are guys, my classmate would know about these guys, so then they would try and like add on Facebook, message, or give love letter, that sort of thing. Mm. I had a classmate who would write these uh, little love notes to my band conductor. Yeah. Why? But I never really <coughs> bothered about that too much long. But I feel like girls' school girls, they crush on their teachers like very often. 24 right? 7. Yeah. Oh Is it just. No? We only had one good looking teacher and he was the PE teacher. The rest <laughs> all like CMI, so. Did <laughs> people crush on their PE teacher? Yes, yes, <laughs> not. But it wasn't to the point where we would write him love notes. It was a very like low key sort of. Mm. I like, oh, he's hot. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I feel like for my school or whatever extent it was, right, the teachers, they know like the students crushing on them, right, but they will never do anything about so last time back in school right or at least in my time we used to call the more masculine females butchers mm. but no offense like that was the just the, the, the term that even they used on themselves yeah. you know to, to sort of term themselves as more masculine mm. yeah. yeah got quite a lot mm. oh yeah. your schools had a lot eh? mm. have a lot when I was set two and that set four population was like mm. half of them the popular clique are all like butchers oh, yeah really? really your school eh? Hey, RGS are curious. You could count them on one hand. Okay. There were like uh, maybe around three to four mm. people who were visibly more masculine and you could tell that they had an interest in girls. Mm. At that time, I think it wasn't as open as, as today. Yeah. So my sister is telling me like, oh, you know, like there are people actually like talking about this is like an open conversation. But last time during my yeah. time, it was still quite taboo and people were like gossiping <coughs> about these things. I think for, I don't know for you but I think for my school definitely mm. it was not, not really right. taboo. It's mm. not, it wasn't taboo in like the IG schools. Maybe because yeah. like your school has a reputation to yeah. uphold. Yeah. Which is why they feel like they need to be more like conservative. Yeah. Mm. But IG school quite like, Anyhow, right? yeah, 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 we do whatever we want. On and then they forever dating in a canteen, I just like, quite oh quite and can then you like, make like, like, up yeah. you know? And it's then the so gossip normal. is like high level gossip, like correct, they, correct. Do, correct. they do sexual what? things in yeah. certain rooms, yeah, and yeah. Then everybody knows. <laughs> yeah. Wow, can I just say, I yeah. think RGS girls are quite repressed. They are expected to behave a certain way, mm-hmm. we take sewing classes and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> It was okay. more of like a supplementary, ah, supplementary thing, thing. That, oh. that, that we were meant to take lah. I see, I see. I see what you mean. During that time, when I was in school, I also felt repressed. I felt like I couldn't express myself the way I wanted to. There was a year I wanted to have a hope. My school didn't want me to do it because they felt that this wasn't the way girls should present themselves. Okay, but speaking of like the different experiences, what's your like best girls school experience? I think 
the community that I had mm. Just girls all around and being able to uh, you know, sit how I want Like don't need to be so self-aware mm. law. Like mm. don't need to think about how I look Like uh, you can talk about periods all the time You talk about period cramps People always checking their skirts where they got stained Like you just stand out like, mm. you got stained not, you know? That kind of thing Yeah I don't think I have one um, single experience that I liked or that I took away from it But I just really enjoyed being myself and not having to worry about Like what the other sex would mm. think of me mm. Because you're just all around girls So you you are who you are mm. all the time There's no need to pretend or to act nice Or mm. just to be pretty or whatever You can yeah. be like the ugliest state that you are right And your friends just think it's normal The most vivid one was during Valentine's Day <gasps> Like how, how we would always like make things oh for each other yeah. like there was people who give like cookies I remember one of my friends did this one of the years they wrote notes and then they just stood at the entrance of the canteen and whoever like whether it's a stranger or someone they knew they just gave out like a nice note to them saying that oh happy so Valentine's Day that is so sweet how she kisses so oh, nice like, that, that kind of very that wholesome so yeah. Yeah. that's so nice <laughs> They, we did have that culture of giving gifts also mm. Like Valentine's Day, any special events There's mm. always people giving like presents, yeah. notes yeah. Writing it to each other and stuff yeah. We yeah. were really open about our emotions A lot of hugs There were so many hugs in my mm. school so yeah. My school almost banned hugs by the way Oh my god Yeah, okay, like, I don't know why my school is known for having uh, a lot of lesbian couples and relationships It was just to the point where I think my school cannot control anyone and they were like Y'all yeah, cannot hug each other, then we all just like, what is going on? But obviously nobody listened to it because cannot be like, the teacher gonna point out you, you yes. hugging go for detention, you know? How can you ban hugs? Yeah, so after a while it was a very redundant rule and nobody listened to it. Okay, I have a very memorable experience because my school took part in NDP. Turns out it's conducted at army base camps. Oh wow. So, um, <laughs> us being 14 to 16 year old girls, went to an army camp full of 18 year old guys oh my god and then after that it was so funny because we are assigned groups and one army guy is in charge of each group wow think about it I'm blushing <laughs> no, I'm thinking about it and then it. Her, why are you, are you blushing? I don't she's know she's excited it's hilarious but now I girls like trying to talk to them get their number and all sorts of things I had to once send a message to the guy like by the way can you add my friend like she's really interested in you so how were these guys reacting? they this? love it la fuck <laughs> what la wait, so many girls clamoring over there of course they love la I never interacted with any of them because I don't like fucking ugly person <laughs> It was just rub up times with rub up hair and rub up glasses and mm. like zero self esteem or confidence. Mm. So I was just like, nah, nope. not for me. But all my very much prettier friends were, please go ahead. And I totally mm. know what you mean. I was 12 years old, right? And then I had my very good friend. And then she was telling me that she wants to lose her virginity to her boyfriend who was 18 at the time. <gasps> and I'm just like, girl, huh? People haven't even get puberty yet. You want to lose your virginity? <laughs> 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 like, I don't think a lot of people had their periods. At 12 years old So most of us are like Wow what the hell is going on man This girl got some issues Should we tell anybody about it But then after that I don't really know what happened Whether she really went to have sex with the guy At 12 years old God I hope not I'll move on to talking about Some of like the Common misconceptions That people have about girls school girls And whether they are really misconceptions Or they're true Okay, okay so first of all The biggest one uh, Girls school girls are bitchy I think that's true <laughs> To a certain extent We seem bitchier Because we have grown up with girls In like very very close contact They are very emotional creatures and they bear a lot of grudges mm. so you have to like navigate the stormy seas of like all these emotions there was a lot of drama back in my school one day I would come to school and then I'll find like my closest friends they all are ignoring me for some strange reason yeah oh you too? you too? <laughs> We were just best friends Then today like You don't even want to look yeah, at me yeah. The worst part is right Even if they're, when they're angry with you They will not tell you What mm -hmm. you did wrong mm -hmm. I feel like It doesn't mean that Just cause you're in a girl's school You are gonna be bitchy Correct. Can I just say that I should change it to Girls are bitchy Rather yeah, than girls, yeah. girls are bitchy <laughs> in general Like the reason why I've been so quiet right, yeah. Is cause I'm very hesitant To generalise That girl's school Girls yeah. are bitchy mm -hmm. Cause I haven't had Any experiences maybe cause my friends are all wholesome good, good friends <laughs> that's great <laughs> yeah. good friends so another one is that there are rival schools yeah so certain girls school girls don't like 
other girls' school goes. And then there's also like pairing schools, so certain girls' school girls are paired with certain boys' school boys. In the east, there is CHIJ Katum mm. Covent and there is St. Pat's. And so nicely, we are joined by this bridge. Yes, oh, I remember this! Everybody terms the love bridge. I remember this. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of yeah. Casey and St. Pat's couples, and yeah. some will even go on to get married, so it's quite yeah. similar. Yeah. What about your schools? Alright lah. Obviously, alright. All the popular girls in our schools will always have relationships with RI boys. Mm. That's a thing. Also, of their CCA, like sometimes if they are in a sport like judo, for mm. example, they will train together. Mm. So oh. on that basis, like they always yeah. see each other a lot. Then from there, the relationship blooms, lah. Ah, yeah, and I, that makes sense. I feel like the rivalry is based on like how good we are at sports. Yeah, oh, I was thinking that also. Certain things. Our school is quite big on this like um, supporting your fellow sisters. So we get very competitive. Always go down, then must cheer, cheer, all like oh. Refugians oh. Unite, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow, refugees. yeah it's, it's very cringy. Wow. You know that I think of me, it's like, oh my god, no. Wow. I feel like similar. For me, I was in the band, right? So it's competitive based on SYF, that oh, sort of okay, thing. Okay. Yeah, but when we have school exchanges, it's still all warm and friendly. Next misconception. Are girls' school girls more Ang more Pai? Like, English speaking vibes. My school definitely, yes. In fact, the way that I carry myself and the way that I speak, right, is largely based on uh, what I learned in secondary school. Oh, okay. Because all the girls behave and spoke like this. You're all definitely more proper. I think my school is like more Singlish vibe. Mm. I think I speak English because I also brought up from an English speaking family but my school got a lot of like Chinese speaking people as well. Uh, okay. mm. Yeah. So it's not necessarily true that all girls school girls are like more pious. For Katu Convent right? Convent schools pride themselves on like you know mm. speaking good English. Uh, okay. All of them come up with a certain standard of like yeah. Ang more pious. Mm. Actually, that's, yeah. that's, that's why my mom enrolled me into CHIJ oh. in the first place. She said the reason why is because she wanted me to be very good in English. Oh. So we move on to the last misconception, which is that girls school girls go through a lesbian phase or are lesbian. Did any of y'all have that? No. I had like a crush, mm. like a crush on senior phase. Mm. So she was the head prefect. <gasps> oh. Yes. Oh, aims high. Ah, class. No, okay. So like, as in, there were a lot of people who were crushing on this this head prefect lah. And the main reason is she is cool, you know, like she can lead and like mm. she's just a a nice like older sister oh, yeah. Okay. figure. Yeah, but a lot of other girls. It's not a phase, but it's like they find this person attractive and they want to like date this person. Mm. So the word phase kind of like implies that it's yeah. just something that they go through. But not everybody goes through that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some people actually yeah. are. Sexually identify as lesbian or feel that way, lah. Yeah. Your school or face? I feel like my school had face, uh, like yeah. a lesbian face. Like yeah. not, I didn't go through it, but I've, I knew girls who like they were dating other girls in school, but outside of school, like now they're completely straight. Yeah, like it was yeah. only because in school it was very hard to find boys yeah. to date. So yeah, you tend to grow feelings for the people who are around you. So now we are much older, right? What is some advice you would give to your younger self? Slash the people who are younger, much younger than us now in a girls school environment. So one of my experiences was about that whole bitchy thing. Mm. I think it's important to remember that this is a thing that happens and don't take it personally. You analyse the situation, it might not be your fault. I remember feeling really sad about it. I was wondering like why my friends suddenly mm. don't like me, right? Yeah. It didn't feel good at all lah. It was quite a shitty feeling. Yeah. I feel like uh, I wouldn't want anyone to go through the same thing. So always remember that Sometimes people are irrational with the way they behave. Like you realise that the things that these girls are angry about are so petty. You talk to this guy who's so angry, you know what I mean? Or you talk to this person in class who's so angry. Listen to the same band also angry. Yeah! It's very petty one. So like, if you're in that situation right now, you can get out of it. Just go make friends with other people, talk to other people around you. Don't, don't be the one to enforce this mm. bad bullying. I yeah. feel that's yeah, just yeah. the most important yeah. thing. If I had to give advice to myself, don't be so weird. <laughs> don't be so weird around boys. They are not like some gods. Yeah. You need to be the demure fine lady that someone told you to be. Yeah. Okay, so I have a question for Kim. You have a baby girl, Ellie. Yes. Would you put Ellie into an all-girls school? Funny thing is, right, we bought our flat location so that it's within walking distance to both of my schools. Oh. As in like, yeah, so KCP and KC both can go. And I would love her to go, for her to go to KC. I feel all in all, the experience is great. Yeah. Like, rub up nurse and whatever aside, you do get a very wholesome, mostly wholesome, uh, it's a fun, fun yeah, time. Yeah, very fun experience. Fun time. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, we conclude today's episode of Trick Chats where we talk about girls' school culture as well as some misconceptions and our experiences that we had. And if you guys have any similar experiences or any questions you have for us, please leave it in the comments down below. And also let us know what else to talk about next time. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Bye.